you said basically is sanctions won't work. He's going to recreate the satellites, the former Soviet Union. How would we counteract that? And as a um, uh, lame duck congressman, what can I do? It seems to me there is a response. And again, I back, re remind you that the world between total happy peace and total war is the realm of diplomacy and smart policy. Four things that occur to me, which are painfully obvious. One is arms. We, we, should, we should not be shy about it. We should provide arms. We talk endlessly that the states of Central Asia, of the Caucasus, of Eastern Europe, uh, that we, we support their sovereignty. But if that isn't backed with, we're not willing to provide even defensive arms and training and presence, we're not serious and they don't think we're serious. Second, energy. Look, there's a whole debate about, obviously, if you want to reduce Europe's dependence on Russian gas, there are two steps you do. Make sure that the route from the uh, Caspian through Azerbaijan, which we're currently mugging, we couldn't treat them worse, and yet this is a key to the solution. The, the gas route from there to through Georgia to, to Europe is open, and that it that it has our strong backing, which it doesn't right now, even though we were responsible for its creation in the mines, under both Democrats and Republicans. If we ex started exporting oil, uh, we, we'd put a lid on the oil price, and that would put a lid on, that be much more effective than, than anything we're doing in sanctions. Third, economics. Look, if you want, if you want to really thumb your nose at Putin, have viable economies all around the perimeter. And that's Central Asia, the Caucasus, that's Eastern Europe, and that means having time-limited, time-limited, very important, uh, preferential uh, access to the American market for certain products. Fourth, information. The, the U.S. used to have the United States Information Agency. It was swallowed by the State Department. The State Department had some gastric problems, and and I think the any information policy from the U.S. vanished. The entire area we're talking about, all Central Asia, all the Caucasus, all East Europe, Europe except the Baltic countries, are under the information domination of Russian TV and news. And the internet, excuse me, has not cracked it. Therefore, we have to get on the stick and create a, a uh, yes, I'm for subsidizing it, but I think it can be done uh, on a commercial basis, get a, get a, uh, 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 a Russian language, uh, uh, CNN, MSNBC, Fox, whatever you want, or some combination thereof broadcasting throughout this area. Four steps. Believe me, they've worked.